So the Samsung Galaxy S10 has been spotted on Geekbench and the numbers are in. This time it's the Exynos 9820 variant for South Korea and there are notable differences with the previously seen results from the Galaxy S10 Plus with Snapdragon 855 chipset. The single core result in particular is far ahead of any other chip in the Android world. The current Kirin 980 with 3400 and Snapdragon 845 with 2400 are no match for the next gen Exynos and early Snapdragon 855 figures are much lower too with 3400 to 3500 depending on who you ask. In fact, the older Exynos 9810 get closest with 3600 to 3700 under the right conditions. Even so, the iPhone XS remains out of reach. The multi-core performance isn't as impressive though it's still respectable. In the scenario however, the Exynos Galaxy S10 is based by Kirin packing Mate 20S and its own Snapdragon siblings. With the Exynos 9810, Samsung focused more on providing high single core performance that competing designs in Android RIM and with the 9820 the push continues. Apple's Bionic still set the trend in raw single core power but Samsung is quickly catching up. So guys that was a quick update from Samsung, hope you guys liked this video, if you did please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for stay updated about latest tech and gadgets. Thanks for watching.